Hello my dear students, uh, now we will uh, learn about the television transmitter and receivers. Uh, here I am the course instructor on the Kalba Review. Uh, first of all, we have to know uh, the basics of uh, television, but how the television started, why, 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 what its uh, invention started. Uh, first of all, in 1925-26, uh, John Luigi Beard standing next to this uh, television transmitter of, uh, that is uh, he has first invented television to pairs left in case is Stuckey's bill the name was Stuckey's bill as you can see there is a transmitter you can see here um, certain cycles and other uh, gears are okay, given there in that kind of transmitter and the went requests a dummy that was scanned by the spinning nico disc so there are discs that have been used in the scanning purpose in order to produce a picture signal that is the picture signal producer uh, then uh, the television what does the television mean for the definition of it television means seeing at a distance to be successful a television system may be required to produce faithfully so main thing is television means seeing at a distance to be successful we have to maintain such kind of criteria faithfully first of all the shape of each object or structural content that should have to be determined the second is the uh, relative brightness of each object or tonal content third is the motion or kinematic content that means this moving content right now fourth is the sound Fifth is the color or chromatic content because if we use the color of television, we will definitely uh, <coughs> take uh, color as a important function. Sixth, the perspective or stereoscopic content that means what kind of perspective uh, the visualization was shown. And uh, the next point was if only the structural content of each object in a scene were shown. We would have truly black and white TV without any shades of grey. That means that's not a shade of grey. If we want to see a black and white TV that was known as the monochromatic TV at that uh, time. So if we want to just uh, get the objective of that, that only the structural content of each object is a scene. Okay, the shape of each object and the structural content. If we take, so there is no other. Uh, tonal content or color content will be there so that will be a simply a black and white TV if tonal content were added if we add the tonal content there we'd have black and white still pictures then we get the black and white still pictures with items 3 and 4 that means the motion or kinematic content and the sound we would have that means item 3 means 3 4 means that is the motion this is the motion or kinematic content uh, this content items that is uh, motion or kinematic content and uh, the sound if we need uh, both of it we would uh, if we need both of it so then we would have respectively movies or talkies it's like this thing and uh, the last two items the items that is in, that means the color and chromatic content and perspective or stereoscopic content if you consider these two uh, sections or these two matters <coughs> or items although most people consider color to be desirable that means that is color tv that we are seeing uh, our modern days and the next generation will probably include item six that means next generation means that means this generation uh, that has been took from the uh, previous books, the communication systems written uh, minimum 30 years ago. But now we use the perspective or stereoscopic content right now because what perspective that can show? Our modern day TV televisions are quite uh, uh, compatible to uh, compatible to scan the uh, perspective or stereoscopic contents, and that's the new generation television then the main thing that is the basic monochrome television system transmitter uh, now we are heading towards uh, the uh, transmitter section that is the transmitter section of basic monochromatic television or monochrome television system as you can see 
uh, from the basic uh, basic part of uh, radio transmitter is quite similar here the crystal oscillator the rf amplifiers the power amplifiers and combining networks this is uh, the basic of uh, radio transmitters that you have uh, taught earlier in earlier lessons but there are some external features that has been added through to it thus it makes uh, it a transmitter of television system transmitter so look forward to it first of all we have a connector between a power amplifier to a am modulating amplifier that means amplitude modulating amplifier and that was the analog signals please try to consider it we are not using the digital television or digital tele digital uh, communication network and there are some video amplifiers too so there are camera tubes the camera tube uh, if they are a news presenter or certain uh, objects that are moving through to the camera are recorded through to the camera so there may be a video amplifier that will amplify the video and then uh, get through to the amplitude modulation modulating amplifier then the signal will be put through to the power amplifier and there is a closed loop <coughs> there is a closed loop the loop has been created between the scanning and synchronizing circuits with the modulating amplifier circuit so both circuit have a closed loop circuit that the both way closed loop that you can see there is a both way side from the camera tube as we uh, send the amplitude modulating amplifier the signal the signal again go through to the scanning and synchronizing circuit and give a sig signal to uh, camera that means uh, this camera takes the motions and other picture related contents to it then it sends to the uh, signal to the scanning or synchronizing circuit then it will send the signal to the amplitude modulating amplifier if the discrepancy and other scanning uh, are required they again send the signal to the scanning synchronizing circuit to adjust the camera tube and other functionalities after that there are combining network that we can see there after uh, trans before transmitting we have added a combining network here so uh, to just uh, add the combining network here we could have to say that is the, the sound transmitter and fm modulation modulating amplifier uh, with the microphone the microphone is set that means the audio has been grabbed by it and this audio will go through to the audio amplifier and frequency modulation amplifier will take the modulation to the sound transmitter and that will combine in the combined network and then that will transmit to it so my dear students please uh, look forward and understand it very clearly that is what is monochrome television system transmitter is first of all uh, that is a very basic uh, basic very basic block diagram of uh, uh, radio frequency transmitter circuit from this portion, portion to that portion that is pretty much similar to the radio communication too uh, because television is also a kind of radio transmission with a, a special feature of uh, video that means the crystal oscillator rf amplifier power amplifier combined network are the same but there may be some changes in the power amplifier section that means the power amplifier will take the uh, camera tube the video output and uh, the combining network will, in a combining network will combine the power amplifiers video and the audio extracted by the microphone and here you can see that two technologies are there if anybody asks you that what kind of modulation was used in the analog uh, television transmitting system uh, that you have to say that for video transmission we use amplitude modulation amplifier and for audio transmission we use fm modulating transmitter because modulating amplifier because fm modulation is quite is quite uh, clearer and good quality uh, than the AM modulation with respect to audio transmissions and why we use the AM modulation in that factor of a video because there are some pixels and dots are there and that has been related to the uh, related to the electron beam and also related to the amplifier section that should have to be same frequency with the luminescence and other chromatic value we should have to the amplitude we should take the amplitude value there so we have to take the amplitude modulation instead of taking the frequency modulation in that factor because these uh, uh, color ranges doesn't belong to any frequency pixels just like the things that we use this thank you very much